So territorial support groups. So there's, there's loads of stories. Um, right. So talk about football. So we would uh, police. So Millwall. We were constantly fighting against Millwall. You know. So we'd get sent to to, to Millwall and, and and battle battle them uh, every other Saturday. Were they that bad? They were. Yeah. Because the thing with Millwall is the hooligan element was large. The the and their intensity of fighting when I mean, they would attack police horses. They would literally attack police horses, dogs. The police, uh, the dog handlers would never do it because they would attack the dogs. No uh, they were they were animals, the, the Millwall boys. But hand to hand combat, I, I, I got to be honest. They were they was you know I didn't have a problem with that. They, well, they, they weren't trained, were they? they were no, just they weren't trained. And, 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 <laughs> yeah, they were, but they were complete nutters. I mean, I got sent the Chelsea, the Chelsea headhunters back in the day. They used to uh, hang back at the back of the shed at, um, at Stamford Bridge, so we would do all the football stuff. And then any riot. So I remember uh, the only proper riot. Uh, right, okay. So the only proper riot I dealt with with petrol bombs was the Brixton riots, um, and um, so Brixton in, in South London. Um, so we were, that's the one and only time I've been petrol bombed with petrol bombs. But what you don't get is the petrol bombs would go above our heads. So we'd be we'd be in a line with long shields. So we'd have long shields, we'd have a helmet on, we'd have our flame retardants on. And what they would do is they would throw the petrol bombs at the walls behind us so the flames would come down on top of us. So the liquid <laughs> flames would come down on top of us. So, so I think I've mentioned this story to Paul once. So we were I was at the Brixton riots. We got past that stage and we kind of pushed our way out so we weren't near the walls. But we're still getting petrol bombs, bricks, anything just chucked at us. Um, and obviously we had long shields. And then my mate next to me, and obviously we've got these really heavy wooden flame retardants. And what they do... You say they wooden? Wooden. Oh, I was going to say yeah. wooden. I thought, I, Sorry, wooden. I thought he said wooden. I was going to say that's the worst yeah. like, fire card I've ever heard of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> flame retardant. <laughs> yeah. I tell, some wooden I tell, fucking I've never, ta- I've never talked this much in my life, honestly. Got dry lips. Um, so wooden... And of course, they make you sweat profusely. Um, so you've got constant sweat running in your eyes, and you've got your, so honestly nightmare. Anyway, so uh, my mate next to me says, "John, John, I can't see, I can't see." I said, "Look, mate, you've probably got sweat in your eyes." Go, no, no, it's more than that, John. I can't see, I can't see. So I look at him, and I can see some holes. So we've got these um, uh, helmets with visors, and there's some holes in the front of his visor. So I'm like, fucking hell, what's going on here? I said, Phil, Phil, just just come back, come back, come back. So uh, I go to the skipper. I said, like, blah, blah, blah. So two guys take our place and we come back. And he's been shot in the head with a shotgun. <sighs> so so somebody in a high-rise flat opposite us, luckily it was pellets, mm. um, and they've penetrated the helmet. Luckily, they didn't penetrate his skull, but obviously he had about eight or nine pellets in his skull. And obviously oh. the blood had come down his face. So obviously we had to put it out. Guy, blah, blah, blah. So we, we withdrew back. Um, and then literally, the, because it's a riot scene, you can't get into the flats. And obviously, we got in the. It was long gone. What was all that over? Was it? Was it? It w- would have been over somebody being arrested and killed by a police officer. Right. Okay. Um, there was a few that happened. Um, I can't remember which individual, but it would have, it would have been protests against police brutality. Yeah, hundred percent. And then it escalates, escalates, escalates. Yeah, so with with the going back to the the football lads as well, yeah. what, were, were you in the stadiums or was that in the streets? No, so so because we were a mobile patrol, yeah. we would always be not in the stadium. Right, we'd okay. be out, but ready to go in if it had to. So you'd have different levels of public order training. You have your basic, then you'd have your level twos, which are your normal cops. Yeah. They they train twice a year, and then you have your level one, which is us. And every month. Mm-hmm. We specialise and we, we go to, back then it was called Hounslow Shield Training Centre and every month we'd go over there and practice our drills. So um, we'd be on a mobile patrol ready to help the level twos when basically. Like, when like Football Factory and Green Street and all that shit come out, yeah, was so it, it, did it make it worse? Because I don't really know that people done that no, shit before that. It didn't make it worse. Didn't make it worse? So it was it already bad? I quite was like it? Green Street actually, good film. Oh, it's but, rubbish. Yeah, Fo- it was good football Factory's good, Green Street's a lot oh, of shit. Football, no, I, I find it the other way around. I thought Green ah, Street was good. But I'll football. be honest with you boys, I like them both. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But, but it was think, all alright, wasn't it, back in the day? Yeah, but I think by the time those films are, I think a lot of the, the football banning orders have come in and they were clamping down quite a lot. See, I didn't even know it existed really. I think because obviously I'm a bit younger and stuff, but I I used to watch fucking Argos. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, I mean, our goal back in the day was was, was well, tasty. Yeah, yeah, the boy, yeah, the Plimsock Posse before that, giving my age away now, and then obviously yeah, the TCE. Plimsock Posse, Plimsock Posse, yeah, they were the first group, right? And then it and evolved then it into the central element. Yeah, um, fucking hell. Um, but yeah, I didn't realise it was such a such a big thing. I thought the films maybe a 
like made it bigger, but I guess not. No, Maybe it no. all died I mean, off by then. I can remember. Um, but yeah, Millwall was supposed to be really. Yeah, bad we had a, we had a huge fight against Millwall. One, I, I think it was a Tuesday night game, and it was absolute carnage. We had we had Mount Branch. We had you know, must have had a hundred hundred and fifty. TSG officers then you had your level twos and it was just battle upon battle it was just pure pure you're just survival mode um you know you're not you're not even thinking of arresting anybody you're just thinking I want to get home in one piece how, how, that's how bad it is how are you feeling in the situation is, is there a bit of a buzz or are you sh- yeah. scared for your life no so um so for me I, I've been scared in my career um but public order I've um I found it quite exciting really yeah yeah I didn't I didn't have a problem yeah okay I, I have the captain myself, you yeah. know, and the lads are with. We, I was, we we're confident in each other, yeah. you know. We're, most of the guys are with. We're kitted up as well, and yeah, like, we're, we're, yeah. we're spending two hours in the gym every day. You know, yeah. we've we, we joined for a reason. 